The Lord be with you. I'm Pastor Luther, serving Incarnation and Shepherd of Life Lutheran Churches, and this is To Start Your Day. Our Bible reading for today comes to us from the book of Titus, chapter 2, verses 1 through 6, and I'm reading from the Message Translation. Your job is to speak out on the things that make for solid doctrine. Guide older men into lives of temperance, dignity, and wisdom, into healthy faith, love, and endurance. Guide older women into lives of reverence so that they end up as neither gossips nor drunks, but models of goodness. By looking at them, the younger women will know how to love their husbands and children, be virtuous and pure, keep a good house, be good wives. We don't want anyone looking down on God's message because of their behavior. Also, guide the young men to live disciplined lives. Models that came from the time in which the Bible was written, the New Testament was written, are different from the models of life that we have today, and we believe in a more generous sort of equality where each of these counsels could be given to any one of the groups. In any case, what it means is that we are called upon to live good lives. We are called upon to live the lives that God would have us live, lives of love because of what God has done for us in Christ Jesus. Do that, brothers and sisters, this day. Live the good life that God would have you live. Let's bow our heads in a word of prayer. Gracious Lord, we give you thanks for this day, for a safe night and for an opportunity to share your good news with the world. Help us first of all, though, to live the lives that we're called upon to live, to be the good people you'd have us be, irrespective of who we are, what our station is in life, that we become your children in very visible ways. In your holy name we pray, amen. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord look upon you with his favor and give each and every one of you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.